Everybody's been busy as can be, especially Dr. Oz, so I haven't had a chance to catch up since you showed that incredible video inside the lungs of a patient with coronavirus. How is it different than pneumonia? What does it reveal to us? There's a couple of reasons coronavirus is different than the typical pneumonia. First, it's very contagious. You don't just catch someone else's pneumonia that readily, but also it moves very aggressively and patients get critically ill very rapidly. You have to put a breathing tube in them. Does this have to do with people's immunity strength? Genes play a big role. We know that. I mean, as an example, we don't know why this is the case, but people with blood type O seem to get the the viral infection less or at least less severely than people who are blood type A. Is there reason you think for government mandated lockdown or should we just keep going the way we're going with human cooperation? I think in areas of the country where people are about to experience a significant increase in infection, you need to have it mandated by the government. Maybe not federal government, but certainly state government. And I'll just give you the example, the cautionary tale of New York City where we finally did get really locked down, but that couple days when we were sort of hemming and hawing, I think is part of the reason that we're suffering so profoundly. ERs are packed with people with breathing tubes in their throats. And then of course you've got body bags and chapels adjacent to funeral homes. I mean, this is unheard of stuff. There hasn't been a ton of studies, but there've been some, and they've shown that the antibodies of people who have lived through and survived coronavirus injected into those who are ill and critically ill has a very positive effect. It's exciting. It's been used in past infections. It seems to work for this infection as well. Basic game plan, take the antibodies that kept you alive if you had this infection and give them to somebody who, for whatever reason, can't mount the needed immune response in the right way. There's a whole bunch of therapies now that are being experimented with, probably a hundred ideas, a couple of really good ones that could change the natural biology of this infection and make a big difference. All right, Doc, thanks a lot. All right, my friend, you take care. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.